Hello, my sugar plums. Welcome back to my channel. Guys, today's in this DIY, I'm going to be showing you three ways of how to make crushed glass at home. Now, we all know crushed glass can be pretty pricey when you're making like a big project. Now, first, what I'm going to be showing you is using those vase filler. And you can get those pretty much anywhere, guys. Walmart, you know, um, Target, like Dollar Tree anywhere so i'm going to be showing you how to make uh crush glass with different uh, vase filler and you're going to need a source of heat you can do it inside your oven or you can make it you know on your stove top or make it just like i'm doing right now and you're also going to need a uh, really really ice cold water the colder the better now guys all i'm doing is just placing my vase fillers on top of my burner and then i'm gonna go ahead and let it up for like about five to ten minutes and then i'm gonna cover it first guys safety first make sure you cover your vase filler and then after 10 minutes i'm just went and remove my vase fillers and then put them straight into the cold water that's it that's the process guys but another tip i'm gonna give you guys if you want your crushed glass when you're doing uh, this method to be really bright color make sure you get um the one that have like really 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 pigmented solid color as you can see this one was the um pink one that i put earlier and it was really really bright now it's it became like a very very pale pink because the heat source that you you have your vase filler sitting on top literally just went and make the color fade away so all i'm gonna be doing guys is just take my vase fillers and put them straight into the water guys and as you can see guys you don't need to have like a specific type of vase filler to do it you can do it with, with like the marble kind the one that have the flat back the bean long beans uh, uh, kind I have different one and I even have like those big big marble and those big butterfly and it work perfectly fine guys that said this this is the uh, easiest way for me um, to make a vase filler uh, and it's very 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 cheap uh, a very cheap way to make it as you can see I was about to just break um, uh, the bean one like really easy guys now once you um remove them from the ice cold water dry them out let them dry a little bit guys and then after that make sure you have your safety glasses on guys very 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 important to be you know safe guys because this is still glass you know if one of our little piece can you know pop away and then you don't want to mess up and that thing's going to hit your eyes. It's going to be pretty bad. So make sure you wear your safety glasses, guys. So all I'm doing right now is I'm going to place my vase filler inside a, a cardboard box and then cover them with, a, you know, a paper towel just for safety reason again, guys. And I'm just going to crush them. Now, remember, with this method, you can choose the grit that you want your uh, gla uh, crushed glass to be. You can do like the big one or you can do the very fine grit one. And, and I'm going to be doing different sizes. And I'm gonna be showing you guys all I'm doing is crushing them you know with my hammer and then uh, you know using like a paper towel and then you know, from time to time you might need to change the paper towel because you know as you hammer it down in my you know the glass will you know rip the paper towel just make sure you change it and as you can see guys we have this beautiful golden like um honey like um crushed glass and i have to buy more of that butterfly because i only have two left and this is what two is giving you it's a lot and the bag i believe came with like 20 and i got them like either from dollar tree or walmart i don't remember guys but as you can see i have like this beautiful beautiful color um uh, crushed glass guys and if you're doing like wo any work with epoxy or acrylic or any type of uh, diy project really and you need crushed glass guys i suggest that you do this one because it's gonna cost you so much so much less money than if you were to buy uh, you know the regular crushed glass at Michaels and most uh, of the time you cannot even find the color one so uh, this is one method guys this is my first way of showing you how to make it and as you can see you can make some very very funky fun colors because you know as you have the crushed glass some of them have like the different colors that I'm showing you right now you can make very very funky colors and make your DIY project really 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 fun i absolutely love it so i have to buy me some more so uh to get more because in the few projects i'm gonna make be making guys i'm gonna be using a lot of crushed glass so keep 
and look out for those projects. So make sure you have your notification bell on and make sure you're subscribed to my channel, guys, if you haven't done so. And if you're new to my channel, guys, welcome and thank you so much for stopping by. I really, really, really appreciate that. Now we're going to move on to method number two. And method number two is actually pretty easy as well, guys. It's, um, you know, very cheap as well to make. Now, if you have like any type of, you know, mirror at home that you're not using, broken mirrors, you know, or you can even buy some from the Dollar Tree for a dollar or you can buy like a big one for $5 at Walmart. And um, this is the second way. Now, this is the uh, crushed glass I, I usually get from Michael's. And um, as you can see, guys, this uh, jar, is five dollars and this is just for the clear one that is five dollars now if you want to buy the color ones at michael i believe it's like seven dollars now this one as you can see have like a very um grayish background which make the crushed glass become like very clear but if you buy the one at ikea they have like a black background uh, a black back so I went in because I wanted to show you the difference I went and spray paint the black at uh, the back of this mirror uh, black so we can make both uh, one now I don't have the one of uh, at Ikea because I used uh, every single uh, one that I had uh, but I'm still gonna be showing you because if you use the one uh, that uh, Ikea have you know exactly what it looks like now it's a uh, very easy now what I'm gonna be doing to make it easier for me is I'm gonna go and take my um, glass cutter and I'm just gonna sear the mirrors and I'm gonna go ahead and do it all over guys don't hold back <laughs> this is your time to distress just sear that mirror up now we're gonna go ahead and do that for both of them now I'm, I'm showing right now this is what it look like with all the marks on them now after we finish all I'm gonna be doing is take like a paper towel and I'm gonna cover the front part of the mirror and then I'm gonna put it in a plastic bag now I'm gonna be doing that for both of them now, once you have that puppy in a plastic bag, you're going to go with your hammer one more time and then you're going to go ahead and tap it just, uh, just to break the mirror apart, just because you already had seared it. So uh, you'll be able to just break that mirror apart really, really easier. And that's the we, the reason that we uh, we did that with a, you know the glass cutter. Now, as you see in here, I'm just... Um, tapping around and then breaking that mirror once you have all the mirror breaking um those little pieces of breaking mirror inside your bag remove your plastic you remove your um paper towel and then we're gonna go ahead and hammer that puppy down guys again make sure you have your um safety glasses on and make sure you be extremely careful because this is crushed glass and it's it can be very sharp guys so be extremely careful when you're doing that now after finishing doing both of them you can see the difference uh, the, with the one that have the black back and the one that have the clear back now I'm showing you right now this is the one that I have the black back and this is the one that um, Ikea mostly have and the, the other one is the one that Michael have now the only difference is that the one um, from ikea and the one from michael they all have like a finer grit than the one that i'm doing right now which is uh fine guys I, I will go back again later on and make them finer and all you have to do guys is hammer them down that's all you have to do to make them finer as you can see the one from michael is uh, that way now this is the second way of doing the uh, color mirrored now if you want to make like different color red you know gold or silver all you have to do is spray the back and then crush your glass and you'll have like some sort of color in your you know in your glass so you'll have like color crushed glass or you can have clear crushed glass that's up to you guys whatever color you make on the back this is the color it's gonna be showing when you have your mirror so this is a second method now we're gonna move on to the final and third method how to do it guys now I'm doing it this way because this is the easiest way to make it because um, you just buy a storeboard you know uh, crushed glass now i'm using the one that i bought from michael guys and you're gonna need some alcohol ink to do this one now this one is the easiest but is the priciest guys so if you don't mind spending the you know a little bit of more money then you can go ahead and make it that uh that way now all i'm gonna be doing and I, you take your crushed glass put it in a cup and then just put like 
five drops of the you know color um that you want to um do your crushed glass in and um for the brighter color guys you don't really need a lot of uh, alcohol ink but if you're gonna do a metallic like brown or copper or like gold those can suck up a lot of alcohol ink and it sometimes the color don't even like um, take that much so this is one thing to keep in mind when you're doing it that way and once you finish adding your color and your crush glasses all you know have all the color soak up to them all you have to do lay a proper towel down and then uh, spread the uh, crush glass down and let them dry for about like five minutes or so and then that's it you are done now i'm showing you the different um method i'm showing you now now this um that i have in my hand this is the crush glass fillers now in my opinion i like this uh method better because you know first of all your crushed glass have that beautiful uh, color in them and it's, it's still see-through and then uh, also the crushed glass are like three dimension because it's not flat because like if you use the the mirror method you can see your mirror is it's a mirror it's flat right but it still have the color in them but it's flat but if you want to you have your project it, it, it also it's just depend on what type of project you're doing like if you're doing like a geode uh, I, I suggest that you use mostly the filler one because you know this will make your project to pop more but if you want to use something that's gonna sink down in your epoxy or something like this then you know the crushed glass with the regular uh, mirror is the best one to use it's just depend on what you want to use or how much money you want to spend or if you don't want to spend money at all so it's all up to you guys so that's it for this video guys i really 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 hope you like this video guys because uh it's i know this it's gonna save me a lot of money in the future by making you know uh, crushed glass or by buying them uh really because the one in ikea costs a whopping 22 dollars crazy and the one in michael costs like a, a five dollars for the clear one and seven dollars for the um for the color one i'll still link below for you guys where you can find the uh michael ones and the ikea one uh you can find those on amazon i'll have some link down below for you if you want to buy them pre uh pre-made and uh, you know if you don't then you have like a um two different ways of making your own you know color crush glass and crush glass at home guys so guys make sure you keep a look out for the next few videos that i'm gonna be putting out because you know valentine's day is coming up we're gonna be making some very very easy cheap way to make beautiful diy valentine's day gift so make sure you keep an eye out for those videos guys and guys thank you so much for being here if you're a new subscriber welcome to my channel don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to my channel i will really appreciate that like this video if you do share with your friend and family and also guys for my old subscribers thank you so much for being so faithful thank you for all the love and support i really 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 appreciate you guys every single one of you Thank you, thank you, thank you very much, guys. I'll see you soon, guys, for another video. I'll leave you with those uh, clips and picture at the end, guys. I love you, and I'll see you soon. And you know, as always, guys, be blessed and stay blessed. Bye. Mwah. Cades a castle wall, 47 miles tall. The river's got a waterfall, the road is so deep. The cedar trees are canopies, a ceiling made of needle leaves. A buzzing fleet of honeybees are guarding the keep.